Um, Congregation Beth Israel, um, we do this annual service in Elizabeth Park for Rosh Hashanah um, for the, what we call the air of the evening service. Um, and it's a big um, community event. It's not just for people who um, regularly go to Jewish services necessarily. Um, it's really family friendly and um, just open to anybody who wants to enjoy um, Elizabeth Park and experience a little bit of the um, Jewish holiday, the Jewish New Year of Rosh Hashanah. So we have a nice live band that um, accompanies um, our cantor and leads everybody in song. It's very participatory. So um, we'll teach you songs and people, people can sing along. It's really fun. Yeah, it's definitely um, a casual service. I mean, there's definitely people who get dressed up. It's kind of up to you, but um, you know, definitely people there in t-shirts or whatever. It's an atmosphere where people bring their um, chairs or their blankets. Some people even bring uh, picnics. And you come out between the bandstand and the uh, Rose Guards on a lovely evening. You sit out there. We have music and, of course, a sermon or a, a lesson. And it's just a joyful way to begin the holiday season. Um, we meet at 5 o'clock, and at the end of the service, we'll have apples and honey for everyone. And if in case it rains, then they will just simply move over to our temple, Congregation Beth Israel at 701 Farmington Avenue. Well, Rosh Hashanah is the Jewish New Year, um, so we go by a uh, different calendar, obviously, than <laughs> what we're used to. Um, our New Year starts, um, some, usually it's around like September or October, it's a different, um, falls in a different time every year, it goes by the Hebrew calendar. Um, but basically it's a joyful holiday, um, and it's one of the two kind of, we call them High Holy Days, kind of the most important um, holidays of the year, so Rosh Hashanah comes first, um, and then about a week later is um, Yom Kippur, which is more of a solemn holiday. Um, but um, yeah, it's just, um, it's, it kind of marks rebirth and um, celebration, and it's just a very joyful kind of community, communal time. We start off with joyous at the new year, and then we end with Yom Kippur, which is a time of atonement where we re all, as a community, we repent our sins, and then we fast for the day, and then we come together as a community and have a fast, break the fast. And special for this year, we usually have um, our congregation, Beth Israel clergy, so our wonderful rabbis, Andy Flegel and Michael Pincus, will be leading services, and then this year they'll also be joined by um, a guest cantor, um, Robbie Solomon, um, who's going to lead us in song, and he's um, recently retired from Baltimore Hebrew Congregation, which is a large uh, synagogue in Baltimore, and um, this year is going to be helping us out with our services, so we're excited to welcome him. It's a way for Congregation Beth Israel to um, do something for the Jewish community and bring anyone who's unaffiliated or affiliated together to celebrate this holiday. and. Um, we get a lot of people who are unaffiliated. Uh, we have people who come from other synagogues too. And they just come and it's just kind of a nice to see a mix of a community together under the sky for one service to kick off the holiday season. And I would also say it's even, um, even if you're not Jewish, um, but you're curious about um, what Judaism kind of is, this is like a great, um, it's like a short service, very sweet, um, but it gives you kind of a taste of what it's like to be part of a Jewish community, and it's, um, you might learn a little bit about um, the holiday.